Hello guys, welcome to Piping Engineers. In today's video, we will learn about process flow diagrams or PFDs. We will learn what is a PFD, what is the information that we get from a PFD, why PFD is important for process industry, and at the end of the video, we will also learn how to read a PFD. So for more videos and updates, please like, follow, and subscribe to our channel. So let's begin our today's video and learn about the process flow diagrams. So guys, what is a process flow diagrams? Process flow diagram is generally known as PFD in process industry and it is a diagram commonly prepared for your chemical industry, oil and gas, process industry or steel industries to indicate the general flow of plant processes and equipment. So basically guys, your process flow diagrams are prepared for process industries because their processes are very complicated and in order to get the hold of the process, the complete cycle is broken into small process flow diagrams. So with the help of process flow diagrams, we get to know the knowledge of the each process. These processes are connected with the help of arrows and typical symbols. So while reading a process flow diagrams, you will be seeing these arrows and typical symbols which will be connected with the help of these arrows. And these arrows tells the flow of the uh, process and tells in which direction the process flow is going on. A process flow diagram generally provides process information like flow, design pressure, operating pressure, equipment details, etc. So these are the basic details that you will be able to get in the process flow diagrams. Your design pressure will be there, your operating pressure will be there, your flow will be there, your some process flow diagrams even provide you the temperature and most importantly equipment details are also there. So more than this if some other information is provided so that varies from designer and designer to designer and also from process to process. But the information that is mentioned here like flow, design pressure, operating pressure and temperature and equipment details. This is the primarily data which is almost which is present each and a present in each and every PFD. So moving on to next. So why PFD is required guys? What is the importance of PFD? We can even have an industry without PFD. So as I already told you that all the process industries, you either your petrochemical industry, chemical industries or your pharma industry or, or your steel industry their processes are very complicated and it is not easy to recognize the process and it is not easy to learn the process because of their lengthiness and because of their complications. So process industries generally follows series of complicated processes. So PFD is used to understand the basic process or plant or a phase system. So basically what happens it tells me the initial point and what it tells me the final point. So these initial and final point, there may be many equipments involved in it. There may be many processes involved in it. So these equipments and these processes, they are connected with the help of arrows and symbols. And it tells me what is the direction of the flow, how my flow is going on. So that's why PFD is very important in every industry. So it is required to understand, as, as I told you, basic information. It tells me about the flow, pressure, operating range of the process. Also PFDs, they are required to trace the direction of flow. As already told, there will be a starting point and there will be an end point. In between those that starting and end point, there will be arrows and symbols and those arrows and symbols determines the flow direction. And this connection helps us to trace the direction of flow. So moving on to next. What is the information that is given by PFD? The basic information that we get from a PFD is pressure, flow, temperature and also in pressure we get your operating pressure, design pressure, flow, uh, many designers they mark your average flow, your maximum flow, your intermittent flow and temperature also they will be marking your uh, maximum temperature, minimum temperature and your intermittent temperature. So this is the basic information that you will be getting from each and every PFD. Also we will be getting the flow direction. So but if you if you are able to see more information than this any in any of the PFD. So as I told you that varies from designer to designer or from process to process or it also it also uh, changes with the need of the customer. If your customer is requiring some um, uh, another uh, more information that you should be that he should he, he needs in your PFD. So he will be asking you to mention that also. But this is the basic information that is always present in your each and every PFD. So there is also tag numbers of all the equipments like if you are having a pump in your uh, PFD tanks, you are having heat exchangers 
or any other equipment that is involved in that process so tagging of that equipment will also be there so it's very easy to recognize that which are the equipments that are involved in the pfd all interconnecting pipings that will have flow in process so all the five all the piping in which there will be flow happening in your running process so all those piping will also be shown in your pfd so not exactly piping uh, the arrows and symbols they uh, they demonstrate that piping so interconnecting piping is given by your uh, arrows and symbols and important isolation system walls so isolation system walls are also there so we are able to know that how my process will be running and uh, which are the isolation walls will be there M many bypass lines are also being shown in your pfds because in bypass lines also there will be some flow that will be going top points are also mentioned in your pfds so these all are the basic information that is provided by a pfd so moving on to next let's see how do we read a pfd so guys this is a typical pfd uh, uh, which i have shown here so as you can see there are some arrows so this is an arrow uh, and uh, this is an arrow and there are some symbols so this is a symbol shown here this is again an arrow this is again arrow and some equipments are also shown here suppose this is an equipment shown here this is a equipment this is the equipment and uh, some symbols are shown here and if you can see there are some numbers mentioned on it so these numbers they are known as your stream numbers so moving on to equipment tagging there are there is written r1 f1 h1 so this is your equipment key r1 stands for polymer reactor h1 stands for water reactor and f1 stands for vacuum filter so this type of tagging is done in your uh, uh, in your pfd so you are able to study you are able to know that which are the equipments involved in my process so again if you can see here it is a stream information table as i told, already told you this 1 2 3 is your stream stream numbers so 1 2 3 uh, this is your temperature mentioned so this is showing in stream 1 there will be a temperature of 15 degree 2 there will be again 15 degree uh, 5 60 degree and in 7 15 degree so this this is showing that what is the temperature that is flowing through that is that each of your stream is having this temperature the fluid or gas or whatever the thing that is flowing into this pfd so this is having that much of temperature now the another thing that is mentioned here is total flow so you can see the stream number one it is shown here 3000 so this stream number one will be having a flow of 3000 so you they uh, again again here they have shown backup so an mole flow it's 500 and water mole flow it's 2500 so adding these two we will be getting 3000 so 3000 is entering through stream number one again for stream number two 105 is entering so through one and two stream number two one and two 105 is entering so if you can see when one or two is entering here and we are getting outside three so it, it should be total of one and two so total of one and through is three thousand and one zero five so at three we are getting a flow of three one zero five now this 3105 is entering uh, into this uh, vacuum filter and through vacuum filter one is the stream number four that is going outside and this is stream number five so stream number four is 753 and stream number five is your 7352 similarly because why why stream number four and five because there is some uh, flow that is being added into st from stream number six that is 5000 and and from seven 5000 is being added to this uh, uh, water heater and similarly the input should be equal to output so this is 5000 is your input here and output is your 5000 so this 5000 is entering here from into this uh, uh, vacuum filter and from vacuum filter there are two outlets one is stream number four and another is stream number five so basically your input should always be equal to your output so this is one of the important thing in your PN pfd that while preparing a pfd you should always uh, you should always uh, make sure that your input and output they, sh they both should have a equal value and other than that your operating temperature your maximum uh, maximum uh, design temperature your operating flow average flow maximum flow all these information you should try to uh, get included in your pfd other than that equipment tagging is one of the most important thing and flow direction your arrow symbols they should have a aligned direction so that each and every, so that uh, even a layman who reads your pfd get to know that in which direction my flow is being flown so guys uh, this is how a pfd looks and how it is read so i hope you would have uh, understood the importance of pfd in your industry and why it is required so for guys thank you for the day for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel
सो गाइज थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर टुडे